Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite makes the process of becoming a published best-selling author as simple as sipping your morning cup of coffee. You can learn more about Authors Unite at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Brandon Dietrich with us. He is an innovative marketer, entrepreneur, husband, and foster father who most recently founded Social Assurance Media, a company that helps businesses use online marketing to convert shoppers to buyers. So welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much, man. Pleasure to be here. Of course. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, We'll jump into the first one, Brandon. The first question I have for you is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? So uh, probably the biggest thing is that, you know, your name and your reputation goes with you no matter where. So to always do the right thing, uh, you know, story wise, uh, we used to have a small property management company that we built during high school and college. And, you know, you always uh, have sort of your regular customers as people that you really want to, uh, you know, do right by, even if, you know, it's very tempting sometimes to, uh, you know, just go chase the money or go chase the other opportunities. Point being, uh, always stand by the people that, you know, you make a commitment to. And, uh, you know, typically it has a way of working out uh, always for the best. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Uh, my view is always quality over quantity. You'll see a ton of people, uh, you know, trying to do everything under the sun. However, you know, they do everything mediocrely. I'd always say, you know, in the digital advertising realm, do less better. It's kind of the mantra we like to live by. Mm. And what is your best piece of overall business advice? It might tie in, uh, but just not necessarily like industry specific. Uh, Probably to, if it is business-wise, um, to always spend time where your actual customers are at, not where they expect you to be. So I like to use the analogy of a trade show a lot. You know, sometimes people will be going there expecting, you know, uh, to always have your customers, you know, searching to buy from you there. That is a possibility. However, we like to go to those kind of networking groups where everybody who would be our ideal clientele is already at, not necessarily expecting to uh, be sold or anything. However, the point being just building that relationship, so going where your customers are at. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Patience, man. So patience, patience, patience. Uh, the fact that, you know, I never expected I would be where I'm at, you know, 10 years ago or even heck five years ago. And really just being open to it all work out in time. And, you know, you can't necessarily make those plans so far out and uh, always expect it to hit, you know, perfect. And uh, in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Purposeful existence uh, is bar none for me. So to have a reason for doing what you're doing, have a reason for being able to impact and help a lot of people along the way. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? The four hour work week was one of those ones uh, I can definitely take bits and pieces from and apply to my life. Uh, The number one lesson that I say I pulled from there is to be good, you know, basically be good at what you're good at and focus in on what you're good at and everything else, you know, uh, find another way to have somebody else accomplish that for you. Typically they're better at it than you and it allows you the time flexibility to focus in on what is you know most beneficial that you, you yourself can achieve. Dude, that, that is actually like my favorite book. That, that book was pretty much the reason I decided to drop out of school and start my own company. Um, so that book had a little bit of an impact on me. I love that one. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, yeah, it's so cool to see you know people in sort of our space, uh, you know, who, who realize that there's other options out there. You know, not just uh, the standard uh, 40, 40, 40 plan. Yeah, it was a, it was like a full uh, a, awakening. Like it was just like it, it gave me the realization that I didn't need. And this is just for me, but I, I was like, I don't need a diploma to get to where I want to be. And it kind of like, because it showed me all the different options uh, that I had. I should actually probably reread it. It's been like five or six years. Um, but that's what it did. It just opened my mind to all of the like opportunity and possibilities and the way to create systems and, and run your own company. And I was like, all right, I think I can do this now. Let's go. <laughs> this is my manual. <laughs> so it was awesome. Um, and, and yeah, the next one I have for you is what is your favorite quote and why? 
So I believe it was Calvin Coolidge said one about, you know, persistence and how persistence alone is, you know, what sort of separates you from anybody else. Um, you know, it's not the talent, it's not the uh, education or anything along those lines. It's just being persistent time and time and time again. And over time, you know, that is a compounding effect that adds up and uh, works for your benefit. Love it, man. Thank you so much for coming on. The uh, last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? So we are actually doing a rebranding at the moment, uh, coming out of some corporate and pharmaceutical industry. So we are going through a complete overhaul. So right now, BrandonDietrich.com, B-R-A-N-D-O-N, Dietrich spelled diet rich, dot com, is the uh, best place to connect with me at. And uh, definitely be looking for uh, you know, some new things, new uh, web redesign, stuff like that coming down the pike. Perfect, man. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.